Welcome to part two of this tutorial on creating seamless patterns and this part is saving them and bringing them into GIMP. So I've got my desktop in front of me and the first thing I want to do is it's the starmotif.pat. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. So I do it to command C or you can go up and copy whatever whichever is your preferred way. This is an act I'm working on. Um, so yours is going to be slightly different and you will have to find your local. It is to you where the GIMP is because you're going to put it into the GIMP folder. I'm sorry I can't tell you on Windows but the GIMP help manual should be able to tell you that. Anyway, for a Mac, you need to go into your user, which is me, obviously, and go into library. And up here, you've got application support. Click on that. Come down to GIMP. Bit of a faff, but we're here. And then click on patterns. And there's nothing in there at the moment. And this is when I go control V or paste in. And it's there. So we've got it in your your GIMP folder which the program is going to look at when you ask it to bring in that particular pattern. Hello and welcome back to part two of how to create seamless patterns and save them. In part one we created the motif and we've saved it into the computer on the GIMP folder but what we need to do now is to bring it into the GIMP palette so that when we click on the box on the packet here and fill it it will create the pattern so what we do is go up to edit come down to preferences and you will see at the bottom here folders click on the little arrow and click on patterns and we want to put the address of where it is on your computer and it's this top one up here and that patterns there. Click on the folder and then click on patterns and it's there and say OK. I must point out it's got to be writable otherwise it doesn't work but writable is there and click OK. The first time you do it it will say you need to restart your computer but because I've already done it um, I don't need to. So the question is, has it worked? And the way to do it is create a new document. So file, create new. And I'm going to put 1600 because then there should be four repeats. 1600 by 1600. By, OK, and there's the new document. So I'm going to go over to the paint bucket and I'm going to go make sure pattern fill and you would click on there. It doesn't show up particularly well but I know it's here. So click on there and then let's see what happens. And there it is. Oh, like a rash, isn't it? But that's how you make a seamless pattern. So I hope that's helped. Go away and have fun and we'll see you in future tutorials. Thanks for watching and if you have any comments or questions come over to our fan page and the address is on the at the end. Also if you would like to learn a bit more about GIMP and Inkscape we do have some free tutorials and the address of where you can get them is also on the slide at the back. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.